What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we have a Kuat NV 2.0 on our 2016 Volvo XC90. So let's just go ahead and get started. As you guys can see, we have nice little orange accents. This is the gunmetal gray color version of the two bike rack. But we actually are gonna have two different colors. We're gonna have matte black and metallic black as well. So if you know, if you're not really a fan of this orange here, we have other options too. And if you got more than just two bikes that you wanna to carry to and fro, we have four bike rack versions available for all three of those colors, so check that out. But let's just go ahead and start with probably one of the more unique features of this bike rack, and that's right here. If you guys are some of those who go on big long trips, sometimes stuff breaks, this is a little workstation for your bike. So you twist that up, so you can put your frame in there, put it down, twist it, and now you can work on your bike right by your bike rack and it'll hold it up. It's gonna make working on it a lot easier. So that is an extremely unique feature for this bike rack. You don't really see it on any of the other ones we carry here. Another thing is this gonna be great for your carbon fiber bikes just because we do have a wheel hook on the front so it's not gonna have any frame contact. And also the nice thing about it we have a Volvo here, it has a back hatch. Even with the bikes installed, we can go ahead and just press this little lever right here and tilt it back. And this is just gonna allow us to have access to the back of our Volvo here. So, as you guys can see, no contact, and we really do have quite a bit of distance between our handlebars, so even if you guys have wider bars, we're still not gonna have any issues getting into the back. So that is definitely a plus if you guys are traveling a lot. Whenever you guys are at like a random gas station in a random city, in a random state, you want to keep your bikes on your rack just so they don't run off. That's something I like. And especially when it comes to security with your bikes, you don't want them to run off. We have a cable for both of them. It's just pretty much gonna wrap around wherever you want and hook back into itself. And whenever we're not using it, it's not just gonna dangle there. We don't have to figure out a place to put it because it fits right in there and you can hardly tell it's there. I really, really like it. But let's go ahead and see how the rack interacts with our bike. So what I usually do is start with the little strap down here, press this little tab in. And I do this one first just because it doesn't hold the bike upright. You don't really want it falling into your Volvo. But the nice thing about these straps is, if you guys bring the kiddos, we have a lot of adjustments. We can pretty much move this all the way to the center portion of the bike rack to accommodate for those smaller bikes that your kiddos might be riding. Or if you just have two different bikes that are a lot different, this bike rack's gonna be able to mold to whatever you guys need. And then for the wheel hook, put a hand on your bike, press this tab in, lift it up, fold it out, and we are ready to go. So let's take the bike rack, the bike off the rack, set it to the side. And usually what I do is just take this hook, put it back whenever I'm not using it. That's just me. All right, so let's just go ahead and see how much length we're adding to our Volvo from the bumper all the way to our workstation. At the end here, it's gonna be about 30 inches but we can cut that down a little bit just by using the same exact lever that allowed us to tilt with the bikes installed and tilt it up. This is only gonna add about 15 inches from our bumper to our little anti-rattle knob down here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the anti-rattle knob. There's a lot of different types of anti-rattle systems. This one is, in my opinion, the easiest just because we don't have to line up the hole perfectly like the threaded pins that come with most. This one just comes with a little pin, you put it through the shank, and as you tighten this down, it's gonna take out all that shake and play on the inside of our hitch. And our hitch we're using today is a two inch hitch receiver. It's the only size we're gonna be able to use with this bike rack. And as you guys can see, we don't have a threaded pin, which I honestly like. It's a lot easier, and we do have a little lock on the end. It's gonna be key to like with our bike cables up top and we get multiple keys with our kit and that's just going to make sure that this bike rack even though it looks great people aren't going to run off with it so that's great and we have a little cap to keep all the elements out and that 
is something I like. Other than that, to give you guys my opinion, it's a great looking bike rack. It looks fantastic. If you guys do a lot of different biking events, you'll see this bike rack quite often. It's extremely popular in all the different colors. I really like it just because of the very unique different features you get with it and everything that I would really want in a bike rack. Locks, anti-rattle bolt, and it looks good. So all in all, I would definitely suggest it to you guys. So whether you guys go with the gunmetal gray or the other two colors, whether you guys go with the two or the four, I think it's gonna be a great bike rack for you. Again, this was the Kuat NV 2.0. I'm Adam with eTrailer, and it was on a 2016 XC90. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.